Hi everyone. So I'm using my data session plugin to set up the user. And then after the user is set up, I'm logging the user for using the API. Now it means that every test has the same login user, login user, and login user command, right? It's the same user, but it's still command to log the user in. What can we do about this? Well, there's a new Cypress session command, and that command is useful to recreate the cookies, the local storage, and so on, so that if the user is already logged in, the session can immediately log the user again by restoring the cookies and the session and so on. So here's how we can use this command together. So imagine we create the user or restore the previous one. So what happens after that? Well, you have the user, and typically you would log in the user. But now you can surround this login the user by size session command. Logged in user. And all we have to do, just log in the user. Now this is great, right? Uh, notice what happens, for example, in the first test new logged in uh, session that means it actually logs the user using login via api and on the second test the user has been created using data sec session that's good and then we're using the saved session already so we immediately have all the cookies set up from the previous test so this is nice fast you know we don't have to repeat ourselves there's only one problem what happens if the user is incorrect and has to be recomputed by the data session. Well, the session has no idea that this has happened. It will still happily use the cookies from the previous user, but it's no longer valid. So in this case, we have to do something else. And here's what we can do. Sci data session command takes another parameter. And it, I'll call it user invalidated. So this is a function that site data session will call if the validate user returns false. That means that data is no longer valid and the setup user will be called soon. So I'll write this function. And just to make it clear, I'll log and I'll say user invalidated. And when the user is invalidated, that means the session is no longer valid. Unfortunately, there is no way to clear just a particular logged in user session. We have to clear the whole shebang. Clear all saved session is the method name. All right. So one more time, if a data session checks the user inside validate user and says, no, you have to be recomputed, then user invalidated argument function will run invalidating all the sessions and the size session will run again. So let's try this. Right now, the user is still valid, right? So we are reusing the session, we're using the data session, but we can simulate invalid user by doing sign now task uh, users, okay? So now we removed all the users from the database and that's what happens now. We're running, okay, clear all safe sessions. So it tried to actually run user invalidated, right? That's why. So let's see. So the data session said um, the rooms are still valid. The user data session is invalid. So it calls user invalidated, removes all sessions. And look what happens here. It went into the logged in user and re-logged in the user. So this is how we can use a third argument to cite data session command, a fourth argument, I should say, where we set up the user in one function, validate it, and then if the validate returns false, we run user invalidate callback. And that allows us to uh, clear all the sessions. 